I remember sitting on the couch one day and my wife's phone rang. It was a FaceTime from her very best friend who recently moved to Japan. And as I was sitting there, absentmindedly looking through the myriad of streaming services, one of my kids was upstairs playing the Xbox. He was fully immersed, hanging out with his friends. I mean, yelling, hooping, hollering. He was in a completely different world, in a different space, and having a great time. Then I looked back across the room and she was trying to show her friend an item that she was considering purchasing. You know, she was still talking, but was trying to copy the URL and send it over. Just picture what's going on here. And they went through this copy, paste, text loop. And the fact is they can't actually see what each other's doing and they're having an awful hard time communicating. <laughs> I remember thinking back to myself, how is it that this is the very best way to share an experience with our friends? And then it hit me. I've been almost obsessed with retail e-commerce for decades and have completed an enormous amount of research into what's next. What's next as we head into a post-COVID, post-digital era for retail? And here's what I realized. There are four steps to bring in humanity at long last to the digital e-commerce frontier. The evolution of retail is finally here. It's time to turn on what's next.